Well, this was unexpected. We're basically just driving along to where we're going to be going for sunset tonight to spend a couple of hours relaxing before the sun sets. But all this mist has just descended along the, the glen. It is insane. It is so eerie. Unbelievably eerie. But it looks amazing with all these trees. Just incredible. This just shows you that you never know what's going to happen in nature. And this, I've not seen anything like this for a long, long time. There could be the potential for some really interesting photos here. Just going to see what happens. It's changing so quickly. But what a stunning, eerie, incredible atmosphere is here right now. It's almost like the scene of a horror film, but in a good way. So I decided to venture under this bridge. Extremely slippy, very dangerous, I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm hoping to get an image with this river. We've got some interesting stones here. Maybe interesting is not the right word, but it acts as a nice foreground. Leading in to this misty, murky river in the distance. The conditions right now are exceptional. It is lunchtime, the middle of the day. This is not normally the hours that you would shoot landscape photography. But it's just amazing. Like, this is the most unexpected trip out photography base I've had for a long time. The conditions are just amazing. That mist. Is just adds so much atmosphere. You normally would just expect this kind of mist early morning before sunrise, and once the sun rises, it normally burns it off. But today, it's appeared out of nowhere at about 11 o'clock this morning. So can you see now why I said this was the most beautiful glen in Scotland? This is absolutely stunning. So nice. Although we've got these really nice misty conditions, I'm really struggling with images because because it is the middle of the day, the light's obviously quite harsh. Although it's adding this really mystical and magical feel to the to the landscape, it's just so nice to sit here and admire it. I have got my camera out once or twice, but I'm just not happy with the images I'm getting just, just because the, the mist is so harsh. And I'm finding it so hard to expose the images. I just find that when you're photographing mist, everything just seems to be so overexposed, especially when it's during the day like this. But walking through this glen on such a gorgeous misty day, it is just so lovely. And this is such a fantastic place to come in Scotland. Truly beautiful. We're getting ready now to head to one of the most famous viewpoints here for sunset. I've just enjoyed walking around this area. It's just incredible and I think Matthew's really enjoyed it as well. The trees here are just incredible. Some of these trees were once part of the ancient Caledonian forest. This area is just so incredibly beautiful. It's like nowhere else in Scotland, I would say. It's incredibly unique, incredibly different. It's just such a beautiful landscape. A mix of stunning towering mountains, beautiful ancient woodland, beautiful walks, 
a lovely river. It's just, it's such a special place. And in the summer, this place is teeming with wildlife. The birds are so tame, they will eat seeds off of your hands. It's like something out of a fairy tale. And I know I say a lot of nice stuff about different parts of Scotland, but Glen Affric really is a truly magical place. And now that we're off up to this kind of iconic viewpoint for sunset, overlooking some of the really beautiful mountains and ancient trees, it's just going to be spectacular. We've arrived at the iconic viewpoint and there's nothing more beautiful and iconic than that. That's just the start of it though, because round here you've got the ancient forest, round here you've got the stunning river Afric and the lochs, beautiful trees, and up here you've got these stunning snowy mountains. There's so much photography opportunity up here. I just hope that the light's gonna happen now. There's a lot of cloud, a lot of mist in the distance, but there's quite a lot of mood just now. So I think there might be some potential for this. Fingers crossed, one hour till sunset, just gonna sit around and see what happens. This whole scene right now, being up on this hill, surrounded by all this beauty. This is a fantastic way, fantastic way to spend the winter solstice here in Scotland. And although the rain, we've got some drizzle happening just now, because it's so calm and there's no wind, it's just so beautiful. Wow. How can a place so naturally stunning and beautiful as this even exist? It just doesn't make sense to me. There's so much of the world nowadays that we've destroyed, so many trees we've cut down, so much land we have just thrown away, we've built houses on it, we've completely destroyed it. And coming somewhere as stunningly beautiful as this, this is only about a 40 minute drive from Inverness, and just that small drive, not even an hour, and you're in this stunning location. We're literally, the 360 view up here is incredible. No matter where you look, there's something interesting to see, something truly mesmerizing. And this has got to be, I've been here a couple of times and the mood in this, in this area just now has got to be one of the most moodiest and most dramatic lights I've seen here. It's just stunning. And I'm so excited for the next hour to see how things are going to progress and whether we're going to get a sunset, a nice sunset. But even if we don't, the mood and the atmosphere there right now is incredible. And I just hope and pray that the rain stays off. And if it does, I can only imagine and dream right now what kind of light and amazing atmosphere we're going to be in for. This is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I just hope and pray that what you're seeing on camera right now and what you're seeing in this video is portraying this beauty to its true extent. <sighs> it's so beautiful. Wow. So what's been so nice today is, with it being the winter solstice, I genuinely thought we were going to struggle to go to all the locations in Glen Affric that I'd hoped that we would go today. But the total opposite has happened and we found ourselves with some free time in between locations. And as a result, we've got here for sunset quite early. 
But what's so great about it is that it gives us the time to sit and enjoy this stunning landscape. And you know, in the modern day world, we spend so much time rushing around, trying to get fit everything in, juggling work with hobbies, with family, with friends, with everything else. But coming here today, and having the time to relax and enjoy this. It's just been such a great experience. And right now we've got beautiful clouds and mist rolling over the mountains in the distance. And just having the time to sit or stand, should I say, and watch them changing shape and shape it, you know, watch them changing shape and rolling over the mountains. It's so incredibly beautiful. And the light right now is getting bluer, it's getting more misty, it's getting more mysterious. This viewpoint could not get any more beautiful. It is such a stunning moment. And, you know, I know we all live busy lives nowadays and it's really difficult. Not everybody lives in beautiful locations like this. But finding the time to spend a day in nature, finding the time to spend a day to watch the weather change, the landscape change, the light change, it is such, it is just, it's amazing to find the time to do that. It takes you away from all the stresses in life, all the things that get on top of you, and it just allows you to enjoy the moment and to, to slow your life down just for one day. And this has been an incredible way to spend one of the final days as we come to the end of 2017. They're literally is nowhere else I'd rather be right now. And I say that regularly, but this place is so magical, so special. And I am off now to take some photos of these beautiful clouds rolling over the mountains. And hopefully some of them will be quite interesting, quite moody, quite atmospheric. But most importantly, I hope they transport you to this gorgeous place I'm in just now. It is just, I'm almost speechless, it's so beautiful. And in true Scottish Highland fashion, as we approach sunset, the rain descends on us once more. Typical. I was really hoping for an interesting sunset tonight, but do you know what? Being here today has been incredible. I've had such a good experience. I have. It's been great. Absolutely great. Spending time with somebody who's got similar interests, who vlogs and photographs as well. We've learned so much from each other and we've had such a good laugh. And being in this location, there's nowhere else in Scotland I'd rather be today. This is such a fantastic place to spend the winter solstice. It's just been crazy, um, in a good way. I just hope one or two of those images are, are of some interest and that the clouds rolling over the mountains add some really nice atmospheric skies and really nice atmospheric feel to this location. The weather, like today, the weather has changed so much. We've had rain, we've had dry spells, we've had rainbows, we've had, we've had all sorts. And everywhere you look, there's been something new happening, something interesting to see. It's just been such a lovely experience. Oh, definitely recommend coming to Glen Affric. What a stunning place. You're transported to somewhere completely completely different from your normal day-to-day -day life. Completely magical, completely special, a true Scottish Highland wilderness. Wow, just look at that. Look at that view. 
it's just amazing right that's the end of the day guys we have had such a good day have you enjoyed it matt oh, it's been an absolutely perfect day i must thank you enough for bringing me on this adventure it's been great you're very welcome and was going africa what you hoped it would be uh, a bit more than i hoped it would be fantastic that's what more. i like to hear um so matt's given up his job he's gonna be traveling around europe for the next six months if you want to find out how he gets on please check out his channel i will put a link down below for you all thank you all again for watching and i will see you all again next time